Are you planning to start on YouTube but can't figure out how? Today, I'm going to reveal some secrets to help you create a successful YouTube marketing plan. Hey everyone, it's Leanne Cohen's here, Digital Success Catalyst and owner of Marketing Leap. And today we're talking YouTube and how to actually create a successful YouTube marketing plan. So one of the questions that I often get asked is, is it worthwhile still being on YouTube? And to be brutally honest, yes. So in the last video that I did last week, I talked about video marketing and why it is so important for your business. So one of the best ways of actually getting the video out there is via YouTube. At the moment, there are over 2 billion logged in viewers that visit YouTube every single month. And every day, over a billion hours of video is watched and that generates over a billion views. YouTube is actually the world's second most largest search engine and it's also the second largest visited website. A couple of stats, viewers over the age of 18 generally spend 41.9 or 42 minutes on YouTube daily. On average, this includes usage across mobile, desktop, laptop, and even connected TV. So that works out to about five hours per week or nearly 255 hours per year that people actually spend watching videos on YouTube. Actually having a YouTube channel set up so that you can be found and so that you can be seen is so important. There's three things that you really need to keep in mind when it comes to setting up your channel. The first one is finding your niche. The second one is setting up your channel and finding the right topics. And then the third thing is actually minding your YouTube SEO. So you'll notice a lot of the things when it comes to marketing, it really doesn't matter what platform you're on, are all very much the same. And I often say that, you know, even though we're doing so much digital and so much online, the basic tenets of marketing don't change. So the first thing you need to do is find your niche and find out exactly who it is that you're talking to. Now, like I said previously, with billions of hours of watch time and, and billions of people logging in every single day, you don't need to talk to everybody. All you need is 0.00 fraction percent of those viewers to actually start growing your channel exponentially and talking to your ideal audience. The first thing you need to think about is why are you setting up a YouTube channel? Work out exactly what it's for. Is it to drive traffic to your website? Is it to sell a course or some products that you have? Is it to grow your personal brand? Working out exactly why you need to set up your channel is the first thing. From there, working out who it is that you're talking to. Because again, like I said in my previous video, you know, video is so personal. People will decide within seconds whether they are interested in spending their time listening to you or whether they want to work with you or not. So you have to be crystal clear on who it is that you're talking to. Now, one of the things that I generally recommend is going in and doing research. Have a look at some of the, you know, the top 10 channels in your particular niche or that are doing something similar to what you want to do. And that'll give you an idea of the kind of videos and the kind of topics and information that your ideal client is looking for. The other thing you can do is actually look at your um, usage of YouTube. You know, what do you get on YouTube to do and what do you get on YouTube to watch? Because that'll give you a very good idea of, of your niche and the kind of topics that you should be talking about. That's the first thing. The second thing is setting up your channel and finding the right topics. Presentation is the most important thing. YouTube is a social media platform, just like everything else. So your profile post photo and your logo needs to be set up correctly. You need to have your channel banner set up correctly with the right dimensions. Now, YouTube doesn't make it easy for you because they do things in such a way that the banner can be viewed across every single platform. So whether it's a mobile phone, a tablet, a laptop, a desktop, or even on a TV, you've got to be very mindful when you create your banner that the right information will actually show up in the right places regardless of where people are actually searching. Not only that, your banner needs to tell people who you are, what the channel's about and what they can expect from you. So if you actually go over and, and check out my channel, Marketing Lee, you'll actually see that the banner says Digital Success TV, 
it tells you that there are videos that are being uploaded every single Saturday and it gives you an idea of the topics that I talk about. And again, don't take my word for it, go and check out some of the larger channels that are out there and you'll see that their setup is very much the same way. Because again, we are incredibly lazy. Time is our most precious commodity and people don't want to have to guess what it is that you're on about. You know, they'll go through, they'll have a quick look. If it's appealing to them, they might stay and watch a couple of videos and if you provide value, they'll actually subscribe. So the next thing that you've got to do, and it's all you know, well and good creating these videos, but what is really going to get people to stop on your channel is to have your YouTube thumbnail set up in such a way that it does exactly the same as your banner. It tells people exactly what the video is about, but it does it in such an enticing way that they look at that YouTube thumbnail and it's like, oh, that sounds interesting. I might just watch and see what that's about. And it has to be consistent. You've got to have that consistency of paint. If somebody goes from your website to your YouTube channel or Facebook to your YouTube channel, they need to know that they have landed on your page and that, that exactly where they are when they land on your channel. But similar to working out exactly what your niche is, you need to decide what kind of content you're going to be offering. Failing to plan is planning to fail. So you do need to have a plan on how you're going to set this out. One of the biggest things with YouTube is looking at creating things like evergreen content and then you know, possibly looking at a video or two that might be a viral video or one that's actually going to get a lot of traction when you know, people are viewing it. Sit down and map out exactly what kind of content? Is it going to be educational? Is it going to be inspirational? It is one of those things that you really do need to map out and plan. And again, you've got to be realistic with the timeline because it does take time and it does take a bit of work to get your channel up and running. But in all honesty, the hardest part's creating the videos. That's, that's one of the most difficult things. And you know, Nettie's just said it all sounds so daunting. If you can get in front of a camera and start creating videos, setting up your YouTube channel is actually not that difficult if you have the right information and you do it the right way. So be realistic around your timeline when it comes to your posting schedule. You don't want to be doing, you know, telling everyone that you're posting three times a week because you're not going to grow your business that way. Start with probably, you know, what, what works for you. It could be once a month, once a fortnight or once a week. You know, there are some people that have a lot of content that, you know, will post twice a week. And of course, then there's people like Gary Vee who are absolutely nuts and do at least one a day. Creating your content and making sure that you are consistent because YouTube, like every other social media platform, works on an algorithm. So you have to be consistent. If you are going to post at a set time on a set day, make sure that you have that done consistently and you can schedule it. So you can do a whole lot of, of batch videos and then schedule them to go up the same time, the same day, every other week or every week. Not only that, keeping them around the same time frame is always a good idea. That's just something to keep in mind. Then the third thing is your YouTube SEO. So yes, YouTube is a social media platform, but it is also a search engine. And of course, one of the best ways to figure out exactly what it is that you need to talk about is to actually go into YouTube and see what is trending really well, what people are looking for in your industry and in your niche. SEO is search engine optimization. So you've got to make sure that your videos are optimized. YouTube is owned by Google. It has very, very similar algorithms, very, very similar ways of working. So you have to have specific keywords when somebody is typing in, how do I do X, Y, Z? One thing that I found that works really well with mine is the educational ones, actually showing people how to do a particular aspect of marketing and how to set something up. Choosing the right keywords and having those keywords in your title and in your description is really important. And there's a couple of tools that are out there that you can use, two that I use quite regularly are TubeBuddy and VidIQ, and I'll put the links to those in the comments below. But they are fantastic to help you start doing your research, finding the keywords and getting things set up the right way. Then finally, getting your videos in front of people. Promote outside of YouTube. Putting a video up and just expecting people to find it is setting yourself up for failure. It's exactly the same as doing you know, a blog and then just hoping that people stumble across your website and that they find it. So the minute you do a video, you've uploaded it on YouTube, start sharing it out there. 
one of the tactics that we do is every week we do a, a weekly mail out to the database and let them know this is the video that's gone up today this is what i'm talking about if you like this one don't forget we've got these other videos as well doing it that way distributing it on social media facebook is not going to promote youtube because youtube is its competitor if you would have seen a, a previous video that i did about the, the three main players you know in the digital space google facebook and microsoft their biggest competition is for your time so if you are going to share a youtube video onto facebook one of the things that i do recommend is that you promote it out to your audience and, and if you do have a business page on facebook you should actually have specific audiences set up in your facebook ads but you can actually promote it out to your audience there and just let people know that this is what you're talking about getting that some um, youtube video out there is really important the other thing that you can do is actually convert that transcript into a blog. Now there's a, a, a course that's actually going up online in the next month or so, which actually goes, works through the entire process that we use when it comes to using video and using live video that you've done on Facebook and how you can actually create content on there and what to do with it. They're the main tips when it comes to actually setting up a marketing plan on YouTube. And you know, if, you, if you're doing all these lives and you're spending all this time creating video and you've got no idea of actually how to get it out there, let alone how to grow your channel, then I do have a business growth with YouTube online marketing course that has just launched. I'll put the link to that uh, in the comments below as well. And that is actually based on a four hour workshop that I used to run before COVID. This online course literally steps you through exactly how to set your channel up correctly, how to map out your marketing plan for YouTube, and how to start growing and making money from YouTube as you go. If you're interested, I'll put that um, course below and you can check that one out. It's about six modules long, but uh, it gives you all the tips that you really need to get your YouTube channel going. So I hope that has been of some value to you today. And if you're not sure of how any of this works and you want to have a chat, please reach out to me because, you know, we do have a full service digital agency. You know, we do, there's a, a lot that we do with the done for you space from websites to search engine optimization, social media management, and even strategy and branding. And then of course, on the other side with the done for you with the education and training, which is the online courses that are going up now. So like I said, the first one that's launched is the YouTube course, which I'm very excited about. So go and check it out. And uh, in the meantime, guys, have an amazing week.